Hey, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we are gonna be talking about marine amplifiers. I'm gonna to try to keep this short and not go into too much detail because this can get very lengthy. But if you're here to watch this, I know you're interested in a good audio system on your boat, um, so let's get into it. I wanna start out with the difference between class AB amplifiers and class D, because in the amplifiers we are gonna go through, there will be a class AB amplifier, which is what I prefer. Um, but just so you understand what I'm talking about, I have it up here. So if you can see here, class AB, the benefit is the low distortion and total harmonic distortion plus noise. What that means is your high fidelity audio. Okay, so. If you're an audiophile, if you really want that top of the line, perfect crisp sound, you're going to want to go with a Class AB amplifier. Now, don't get me wrong, Class Ds have come a long way, especially with companies like Kicker and JL Audio that have gotten their Class D distortion down to 1% or less. So, there is hope for the world on the Class Ds. Now the Class Ds, the benefit is high efficiency, where the Class AB, not so efficient. If you are gonna run this while you're sitting uh, still, this is going to drain your battery much faster than a Class D will. Um, personally, I like my sound more than I like sitting like and worrying about how much power I'm gonna have and for how long. Um, I also have a good head unit that has a voltmeter alarm on it and will shut down whenever my battery gets below whatever I set it at to shut down the radio at. So I don't have to worry about my batteries dying. I've gone 30 plus minutes um, at a sandbar listening to my radio at very high levels um, before my battery got down to a, a level to where I wanted it to cut off but it was still fine once I started the boat up and ran it. So this is gonna be a option for you. This, there's gonna be three out of these four amplifiers that I recommend and that you're gonna to have to make the decision on cost, efficiency, or high fidelity audio. So let's get started. As always, we'll start with the cream of the crop, the JL Audio. Now this is their entry level basically um, marine audio amplifier. I went with, I was trying to be at the same across the board. So Scar Audio has a 500.4, Kicker has a 400.4, JL has a 400.4, and DS18 has a 400.4. Um, unfortunately, Scar Audio only makes a 500.4 and a 1000.4, which are labeled as a 75.4 and a um, 150.4. So when they say 400.4, they mean 400 watts total, okay? That doesn't mean it's 400 a channel. Um, with the SCAR audio, they go differently. They say 75.4 with the 500 watts RMS total, okay? So just to clear that up for you. Now, if you look here, this is going to cost you $519.99, 520 bucks. This is their best budget amplifier. So this is for the mass consumers. Um, this is going to be the cheapest of their lines. Um, still great quality. If you look here, um, you have less than 1% distortion at 2 ohms per channel, which is fantastic. Um, and um, yeah, it's, it's a great amplifier. You can see here that you have your four channels. You got two here and two here. Both are bridgeable channels. All right. And you have your power ground and remote. Um, settings there. Let's see if I can get you. Here we go. Here's a side view. So you got your 12 volt DC, your ground, and your remote. These are four gauge inputs. Um, that doesn't necessarily mean you need the four gauges, be the four gauge input, because to be honest with you, you're probably not drawing enough to even need four gauge, but it's a nice option that they have it there. I would recommend on this four, 404 to go with an eight gauge. But if you have the money, why not use your four gauge? Do a nice premium four gauge in there. So here's your pre-outs. Uh, they have a set of pre-outs so you can pass through to another amplifier. You don't have to run multiple RCAs, which is nice. They also have your four channels of input. Um, as you can see here, bridgeable. 
And then on top of the amplifier is where you get your settings. So over here, you get to see, um, you have your, your pre-outs, you have your remote level mode, your input mode, and the filter. So you have off, which is gonna give you full range. I use full range on my setup because I specifically tune the cutoff frequencies to the channels. So like on my channels for my eights, my cutoff frequency is much lower. And then my channel for my six and a halfs picks up what the eights don't cover. And that's how you should be setting up a system. You should be staging it um, to where you have certain speakers picking up certain frequencies and then your other speakers pick up and overlap those frequencies on up. And that will give you that harmony of sound. That'll give you those good lows. That'll give you those um, powerful mids. And that'll give you those screaming highs without having distortion. So you want to look into that. If you see here, just like on the other amplifiers, you're going to have channels one and two are going to be paired together. And channels three and four are going to be paired together. And that is how you change the frequencies for a four channel amplifier. You put some speakers on one and two to cover a range of um, frequencies that you want. And then you put the other speakers on three and four to cover the other range of frequencies that you want. Um, or you use this amplifier specifically for all the same frequencies and you set them the same. But you have the off mode, which is full range. You have a high pass filter and a low pass filter. And then if you don't know how to set that up, please have somebody tune your stereo system for you professionally. Let's move on to the D. Uh, let's go to Scar Audio because I want to talk about this real quick. This is an AB class amplifier, which means this has high fidelity sound. This is what I currently run. Runs fantastic, produces awesome. People are always asking me what I am using in my boat and how it sounds so good. Two major things that make my boat sound so good. One, my head unit. I'm using the Kicker KMC5, which in my opinion is the best head unit on the market. Highly recommend it if you can afford it. It's about 550 bucks, but I caught a mistake on Best Buy and I picked it up for 350. Um, secondly, the quality of my um, transfer cables or my audio cables or however you want to call them. I'm using Stinger Marine Grade um, cables and then sting and then i'm using a scar audio amp that is an ab uh ab class amplifier which is high fidelity sound so even though my system is much cheaper than a lot of jl audio systems it tends to put out better sound and for about a quarter of the price now again the fallback here is that this amplifier is going to use up more power so Maybe down the road, I'll add uh, a third battery to piggyback off that house battery to double up my time for how long I can sit and play this without having to, you know, run the boat to charge the battery back up. Um, but again, I've never ran into an issue with the boat um, battery yet. And as soon as you're under power, it's powered just fine. This amp's working fantastic. This amp is only 170 bucks for over 500 watts of power. That's insane. That's less than 50 cents a watt. That's just like killing the game. And in my opinion, the best bang for the buck you can ever get out of any amplifier. Um, but if you are worried about power draw and drainage on your battery, I'm gonna go ahead and move you over to the kicker. Now the kicker KXM A400.4 amplifier is amazing. Um, just like the JL Audio, it has less than or equal to 1% distortion. It's running Class D. It's uh, got a LED light pipe on it. It looks good. It's marine grade. I mean, and it's under a dollar a watt. You're getting over 400 watts of power for $399.95. It's not much under a dollar a watt, but with the name, the company, the reputation. I mean, you can't do any better than that. So that is my recommend recommendation if you want to save some money over the JL Audio and still get that Class D efficiency with great audio quality, go with the kicker. 
Now, lastly, I am going to mention that um, DS-18. And I'm just putting it in here because so many people talk about it, but they just fell short for me. They, they just really did feel short. The one very cool part about their amplifier is this amplifier is completely IP rated waterproof. So if you plan on putting this in an area that gets wet, you don't have to worry about it. Everything is sealed. So it's a four channel amplifier. They say 1200 watts max not happening it's not that much power it's been tested they tend to overrate their stuff quite often and that's been proven numerous times throughout youtube history if you look at their amplifier tests but they have had some amplifiers that did perform as they stated so i can't knock it too much ds18 is a is a is a decent company it's just not it just doesn't do it for me so it kind of fell short on this list again the one advantage this thing has over it, especially if you have like a PWC, it is waterproof. Like it has an IP65 rating for being waterproof. The other amps are not waterproof. They are treated and marine grade, but they are not made to get wet. So, I mean, fully wet. So again, this DS18 Hydro, it's up to you. Whatever the value is to you, you know, that's a cool thing, especially for like a PWC, not so much the boats, but um, something that's gonna get wet for sure. You get that peace of mind. So, what do you guys think? It's really up to you. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you wanna hear. Um, I do tend to answer questions fairly quickly, usually within 24 to 48 hours of the posting. I get back to you and uh, I am here to help if you don't like the video, I understand. Move on to another one. It's great. But if you do like it, give me that thumbs up and think about subscribing. Well, i like to see you guys back here again. I hope this helps with your amplifier needs. Uh, this is the FSH, dude. I'll see you on the water.